Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're going to address the Radio Master Zoro's one main issue, battery life. As always, I'm Jeff with Titan FPV. First order of business, guys. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. Click that notification bell, and you'll be notified when I upload all new content to the channel. If you've been following the channel for a bit, uh, you may have seen that I do recommend the Radio Master Zorro. It's a gamer style Express LRS or multi protocol radio. It's got a lot of benefits over the competition, but there's one thing that it's lacking in, and that's battery life. Instead of using a normal 18650 like most other transmitters or a LiPo battery, the Radio Master Zorro depends on two 18350 lithium ion cells. These are lacking in capacity versus an 18650 or a 21700 lithium ion pack. Now, Radio Master does sell their, their version of lithium ions to pair with the Zorro. These are 900 milliamp hour. I did pick up these Epic batteries. I'll post a link in the video description. These are 1100 milliamp hour. And finally, I picked up these vape cell that claim to be 1400 milliamp hour. Batteries that work best in the Zorro are the button top batteries. These Epic batteries, they're, I guess, slightly the flat top, but I didn't have an issue with these making a connection with the battery terminals. But with these vape cell, uh, they're just too flat. So if you see, it's kind of recessed. I did have to add a glob of solder to make contact with the internal connectors. That's not uh, something, uh, if you're comfortable with soldering, I wouldn't recommend doing that, but I did want to know that these are not the stock where these batteries come. I did add a glob of lead-free solder there on the end. If you do want to do this, you want to heat your iron up to relatively hot heat, go in fast and uh, solder up and get out of there because you don't want to heat up the cell and uh, potentially damage it or hurt yourself. So a big improvement over the 900 milliamp hour of the included or the Radio Master branded uh, 18350s. We're going to test all three of these. Plus I do have a wild card. The Radio Master does come with a 2S balance port on the bottom. You can also purchase a separate cable to use this with a Another 2S pack. Now, I believe this is only rated for up to 2S, so you're probably going to blow the circuitry if you go higher than 2S. So anything with a 2S balance port will work with this. The wild card I have is this 3200 milliamp hour uh, China Hobby Line. This is actually a goggle battery. I picked these up for the HD Zero goggles, but these just don't last powering the internal module. So need to find another use for this. And I think this is a good use case. We're going to test out all three different brands and capacities of lithium ions. And in the end, as a bonus, we'll test out this external pack to see if that makes a difference. I did run the Zorro. Uh, this is the Express LRS version. Uh, I set the internal module to 250 milliwatt, which is its max. And I did disable the dynamic power, so it's going to run at 250 milliwatt for the duration of the test. That's going to give us uh, the least amount of battery life. So this is essentially what the worst you can expect with this radio, running the internal module. Now throughout the test, I did I did fly different amounts of packs in the test, but you do have a total uh, on time with the module set to 250 milliwatt. So even if it's not paired to uh, a receiver, it's still going to be running at 250 milliwatt with dynamic power disabled. So set at the max. I believe my screen on time is five seconds, and I've got the brightness sent to 40. So essentially after five seconds, the backlight on the LCD is going to go off. So that's going to save a little bit of battery life. The batteries in this test were all run down to 7 to 7.1 volts. That's around 3.5 volts per cell. You could take them lower, but for the purpose of the test, this is what we're going to use. Those are the settings we're running today, and we can dive into the results. 
First up, we've got the Radio Master 900 milliamp hour cells. I flew three packs for a total on time of 51 minutes, 21 seconds. Do note that that's not the flight time. I believe the flights were anywhere from four to six minutes. The Epic 1100 milliamp hour batteries are up next. I flew five packs with those for a total on time of one hour and 22 seconds. And finally, the vape cell 1400 milliamp hour cells. I flew a total of seven packs for an hour and 13 minutes. As you can see, the 1400 milliamp hour vape cells are the clear winner here, but I think we can still do better yet. As I mentioned earlier, fortunately for us, Radio Master did think about the potential battery issue. So they did add this balance port on the bottom that you can connect any 2S LiPo on to add more power. In this case, I went with this 3200 milliamp hour that I picked up from China Hobby Line. You can use any uh, 2S pack that you want, but this is a good size and it, it does add some weight to the radio. We'll take a look and see how much here in a second. I did find a print online. The Zorro does have a nano module bay on the back if you want to add an external module. I found this print online and modified it. I'll post the link in the video description. But you can just take this 2S pack and run that down in here. I did modify the original file. And then this just clips on the nano module bay. And it's an easy fit. And then all you gotta do is open up the bay here and you can run your balance connector and extend your battery life. The batteries do sag uh, on startup, and I think that's the reason why these 18350s just don't last. They don't put up enough power, and they sag uh, with the internal module. Once I plugged up the external pack, so the voltage didn't sag like uh, beforehand. I believe I ran about six packs through this for about 45 minutes of on time. I'll post those numbers up here on the screen and uh, the voltage barely dropped versus, I think with these 900 milliamp hour, I think I only got like three packs out of it. Now the radio was on for, I believe 45 minutes or an hour or so. It definitely runs through batteries. Now, if you just wanna get in a quick session on your lunch, that's not a big deal, but if you plan on using this radio uh, for charging it like for a week and just leaving it in your bag and coming back and flying some packs or flying all day, the stock setup with these uh, 18350s, uh, no matter even what set you go with, the vape cell, as we see, uh, were the best performers. They are rated for the most power. I, I don't think they're that expensive. I'll post those links in the video description. You're still not going to get a full day's worth of flying with this radio. That's the main issue. Um, I would like to have a higher uh, power internal module. This one only goes up to 250 milliwatt, but 250 milliwatt. Express LRS is going to get you most places that you're going to need to go, but I would like an option for one watt, but that would even draw more power. Now there's a guy on Facebook, Isaac. I'll post a link to his website. Uh, he posted a, a, a mod that you can replace the original regulator, voltage regulator with a buck connector, and it's going to draw less power on the internal module. So if you want to open the radio up and swap it to a buck connector, I believe the original LDO connector is supposed to be lower noise. He did that mod and I believe he's happy with that. So I don't have performance numbers on that, but I will post a link to his blog website on the how-to. So shout out to him. In conclusion, I think we can determine that the vape cell performed the best, the 1400 milliamp hour. Uh, and then going on down the list, we've got the Epic 1100 milliamp hour and then the Radio Master on the lower end but you can extend any of the life of these with the external battery. So this is a good solution. I think some people have strapped a battery to the bottom. 
I'm not a fan of that. If you're not running an external module, you can easily fit this on. Now let's get a weight and just see what the increase is. Nothing unusable, but it does add some weight to the radio. With the uh, external battery, it's coming in at 510 grams. And if you take the external pack off, the Zoro's coming in at under 400 grams, 399.6. Looks like it adds 111 grams. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hopefully this video was informative. If you got any questions or comments, post them down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, we'll catch you in the next one.